Make my, you guys want me to make my whole family be mad at me? Yeah. That might be entertaining. Because all I have to do is just plug in the bass and turn it up to max. Can you just play? Can you just like play um, Darud Sandstorm, like but at max volume on the bass? Man, this guy sucks. I'm gonna go watch Comey. I Carson. would like to be able to stay in is my Carson house. I don't want to get kicked out quite just yet. No, but anything's better than watching you. Thanks. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, let's make the stream as bad as possible so he loses all of his viewers. Oh my god. Yeah. No, this is so dry out. Did you hear the taxes went up? Alright, it's time to leave the call. I'm gonna rejoin the call. I have the ability to do so. Um, may I suggest... Okay. Uh, are, are bank we... thrust. Because while but, they don't um, have extremely high um, return on investment, they're better than just having it in the savings account. And it's pretty f safe. What's going like, on here? Like, it's safest. What, what's going on in here? In this part of town, since, you know, the, uh, so the electronic sector is perpetually growing and... <laughs> Are you guys talking about like the most boring business shit ever just to like get people to leave? Business. Economics, bro. Oh, economics? economics? Oh, you don't want to talk about accounting? Because that's the most boring. Oh my god. Ever. So, my mom's an accountant because my dad owns his own like welding shop, right? And she takes me to work every now and again. And yesterday, she, or not yesterday, the day before. No, it was yesterday. Today's Saturday, so it would have been Friday. So, Friday afternoon, we go in, and I have to sort out the papers for the month of June. Now, you guys will never guess what happened. We got them right on the first try. Like, this is unheard of in the accounting world. Like, you always have to go through, back to see the employee checks, you have to go through to see the material costs, the tool costs. There's always a freaking typo somewhere. And, you know, more often than not, actually, I shouldn't say this part because it's going to get us audited by the IRS. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I'll just say, um, practices are not always 100% legitimate. I won't say in what aspect. <laughs> just, um, if you're a cum, make sure you save every receipt. That's just good life advice in general. Save all of yeah. your receipts unless you're paying in cash. Because your bank statement does not lie. The government the likes your bank book? statement. The is that book? Oh, speedy. Speaking of bank statements, guys, um... No! I got to stop! No! I got to... Damn it! No, it's fine. Hey, we'll get are, it again. are you really interrupting my monologue yeah. about... Oh, yeah, no, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Continue, continue. I'm very anxious to hear more about accounting. Oh, this isn't even about know. accounting anymore. It's about filing taxes. It's oh, filing taxes? Dude. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so... You know, companies like H&R Block and TurboTax, or I guess be into it because they own TurboTax, you know. Freaking companies owning companies, it always makes everything so confusing. Am I right, my guys? Anyway. Absolutely. So, those major tax companies, you know, they have been conspiring to make taxes harder for the rest of us for decades now. Because if they file our taxes, they get money, but the government can file our taxes. It's, it's a system called return free filing and essentially your employer submits your payment details to them your bank submits their statements to them and they say okay well they earn this much they spent this much let's tax them this much and then they send you what they think you should be taxed you correct them say oh this was actually a business trip uh i bought this much food i did this much whatever whatever and then you send them back like the actual stuff and you know what it's an after it's a quick hour of fact checking as opposed to three hours of filing taxes isn't that wonderful Please. so okay for those listening make sure to tell your parents to call their um what's it called congress people. representatives can't say congressmen anymore because political correctness, right? There's Rep representatives. And I think and you mean representatives. I just looked at who. who sorry, I just I just looked at who was in my chat, and there are actually like more people than usual. So somehow, people are uh, very happy that you oh, talked about. Oh, you guys want to learn more about? Yeah, let's learn more about economics, bro. Yeah. Okay, did you guys know that Australia is actually an American company? Yeah, actually, I did know that. I watched. Hey, I watched that yeah, half as interesting video. Or half as interesting, whatever, right? Yes, half as interesting. I watched that half as interesting video. So, as most of you know, Australia exists. Unfortunately. For those of you who didn't know that, 
This is what happens when God creates a sandbox server for the devil. <laughs> because you know what lives there? Poison. Poison. Poisonous duck that looks like a beaver. Poisonous snake. Poisonous spider. Poisonous dirt. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, poisonous air. Quite literally. Because ha- most of the country is a desert. If you breathe it too long, you die. Not because- <laughs> There's people in Australia, as I've said before. And the government there is far, far more left-leaning than the government here. So they have a lot more, like, financial services for the poor. Or, like, those that aren't doing too great, you know? And they have, like, um... A sovereign wealth fund, essentially. So that means that basically everyone can get their rainy day checks should they need one. And in the 2009 financial crisis, it was looking like everyone was gonna need some financial rain checks, right? Or some like to get them out of whatever pickle they they were gonna be in, right? Because you guys remember what happened in 2009? People started over leveraging insurance on houses that they knew weren't gonna be paid just because they didn't know where to put that money. And the whole world ate sh- because of it. But anyway, so way back then, 2009. You know, back when. When was the first iPhone released in Sandy? 2007. So this was like iPhone one year. You know, like this is like way back in the before time. You know, the dark ages. Anyway. Yeah. Exactly. So anyway, the government of Australia was kind of pressed. And they were like, hmm, you know what would be a good idea? Let's get people from other countries to invest in our country, should our country eat because of this financial crisis. And so, they drafted up what is essentially a business model, or a business plan, and submitted it to the United States um, Business uh, Center of Commerce or some bullshit, I don't know. And they said, hey, we want to be a company, and should we become public? People can invest, and we can pay them back. But, unfortunately, until now, they haven't been open. So, you cannot buy part of Australia, which is quite depressing, actually. Honestly, I just, I would totally, like, buy one square inch of Australia in a heartbeat. Honestly, same, just to flex. Yeah. <laughs> like, I own part of Australia. What about you, f- <laughs> you're like you're like you're like you're like getting bullied at like school and you're like oh yeah well i own part of australia what what have you accomplished huh hey you get that part of sydney like right in city center where it's like a massive apartment complex and you can say hey i have a 60 person army what about you dick nose <laughs> so since we're talking about that's interesting topics i decided i, I want to talk about a topic of my own all right Alright, uh, I would like to lay upon you one of the most uh, eventful and game-changing wars in all of American history, the Mexican-American War. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, I love this podcast. Yeah, 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 let's, let's hear it, let's hear it. Yeah. See, back in the early 1800s, uh, Mexico was a very large superpower, you know? Very up Actually, there with I'm the I'm gonna US. have to correct you right there, Chief. Shut up. <laughs> Spain was a lot. Um, teacher, I have a couple questions. In the Americas was a very large superpower, but they started losing their grip, and then Mexico took over most of their territory. Um, the yes. southern bit of it, what would now be part of Central America, the Central American country, just kind of said, F- this, I'm out. And then we were left with the boundaries of old, what was it called, the, Re- the Republic of Mexico. I think it was called way back in the day. Yes. And you see, because Mexico had occupied that space, they didn't, but they didn't have many people there. So they said to the U.S., hey, why don't you bring some of your folks over in this area for farming and such, and space, and, uh, which will help us out with our population and whatnot, I guess, in order to have it be inhabited more. Actually, a little bit of an addendum there, which I think is rather important. So, Mexico... You, know, you, want, to, first you, want, you want to talk about it? No. You want to talk about it? No, Robert, I, I have to bring up this point because it's kind of crucial. Trust me, he knows his Mexican history. I sure do. I watch a lot of YouTube. And a lot of YouTube. <laughs> anyway, so Mexico, in their first edition of the Constitution, which was ratified in, I think, 
1812, outlawed slavery. Like, completely. We were way ahead of the curve because the United States is dumb and retarded and dumb. <laughs> and yeah, going to do that. That oh, and also, the reason we invited um, United States Indians into the country was, par was partially to increase the population in that area, but also because we needed a buffer for some of the Amerindians. Dizzy, get out of the way. Dizzy, get out of the way. Shut up, Nathaniel. We are discussing Mexican American wars. Sorry, anyway, my so they need dumb a buffer ass elephant between in that Indian nation and Mexico proper. And they said, hey, bring in your farmers. We want people. Hello, clever. Get your farmers in here so we don't What's die. You do if they decide to attack. Anyway, go ahead, Robert. Okay. Oh, anyway, hello. So right. basically. We're learning history. So. The area bordering the Nueces River was what Mexico had originally agreed on the U.S. to pretty much inhabit. However, the U.S. had decided that they wanted a bit more than that and decided to go all the way to the Rio Grande. Actually, and you just skipped over a major... Oh, God, problem. he's going to have to go on another... Can I speak, please? No, actually, you cannot because, see, at this point, the settlers that came from the United States into Mexico decided that they really wanted slaves, and so they took their slaves, right? And Mexico was like, hey, no, you can't do that. But the United States said, hey, uh, Texas, what was called Coahuila y Texas at that point, said, hey, you know what, suck we want to be our own country. And after a war, they became their own Seven country. years. And then it was Robert's boundary years. dispute that he was talking about, and now he may continue. He's gonna but skip over something. I have to go because people are in my house. Goodbye, people. Goodbye. Thanks for the history and the Get it right, Robert, because yeah. I will go back on the stream. <laughs> no, thank, no, thanks for you the just, accounting lesson cried. from earlier. Yeah, if you would let me freaking finish instead of stopping me. Like, you literally interrupted me before I got to what I was about to say. <laughs> I think he's gone. Is he gone? He's gone. <laughs>